Hi, I'm Natalie Pretty, and today I'm here with Dave Edmonds from Nabalo Wines, which are based in New Zealand, in Marlborough, New Zealand. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, absolutely my pleasure. So how long have you been in the city then, today, or this, this time? Well, I flew in on Sunday, so I've been uh, enjoying this good heat that you're having here in Toronto. Fantastic, because over in New Zealand right now, it's a bit cool, from what I understand. It is, it is cold, yeah, it's the middle of winter, and uh, although we don't get snow, it's still pretty cold, yeah. So, what are we drinking here? Uh, this is Nobolo Regional Collection Sauvignon Blanc, it's from Marlborough, okay. uh, which really is the spiritual home of Sauvignon Blanc, I, I believe. What is it about this wine that, you know, that makes people think, or should remind people, of New Zealand? Well, I think it's the, the aromatics are so accessible and bright and fresh, uh, and it really fits with our spirit in the in the outdoors. Uh, the the palate is really juicy and and Moorish, and uh, you know it makes for being outdoors and, and having a great time, and and that's really about what New Zealand is. So you previously worked in California and in Germany, um, making wine. What brought you back to New Zealand? I think I've always had an affinity for white wine and uh, I really love, always loved Sauvignon Blanc uh, but when I arrived in Marlborough uh, I, the palette of aromas and flavours really opened up for me and uh, I've been enjoying it ever since. So you also don't make a, um, just make Sauvignon Blanc, although you are renowned for your Sauvignon Blanc, you also have an award winning Pinot Noir. Absolutely, yeah. We have the Nobolo Icon Pinot Noir here. Uh, it's in Vintages in uh, the LCBO. And uh, yeah, we're really proud of it. It's a, a great partner for Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, really rich and giving and, and shows, shows off some beautiful fruit flavours that we love in New Zealand. I think um, Nobolo's secret weapon is, um, is actually the acidity. Um, so let's maybe have a taste of the wine and, and you can Sounds great. it for yourself. So immediately you get this big juicy hit on the palate and, uh, and I think that's the epitome of Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. Really accessible on the palate, really juicy, very easy to have another glass. If you're not making wine, you are sailing or running and you said that you collect maps from running routes around the world. So what is the, where's the best place that you've ever run? Uh, I've been very lucky uh, this trip I managed to run around Central Park. Um, so I did the outer loop there, uh, so that's a prized uh, map on my on my app. Um, but in the future, um, there's some half marathons coming up in New Zealand through some of the most beautiful regions, the Buller Gorge, uh, over towards the west coast of the South Island. Uh, really looking forward to that. That sounds fantastic. So I guess you run to balance out tasting all the wine. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. When you leave Toronto and when you finally head back to to New Zealand from this trip. What do you want people to remember about your wine? Really, I want them to remember that it is a wine that is, um, has so much fruit to give. Really accessible, uh, easy to have another glass. Um, you know, it is a wine that anyone can enjoy. It's a great um, crowd pleaser. You know, you're having a party, some sort of soiree, and you want to impress your friends, you're going to get real mileage out of this wine. And what would you, what would you pair this with? What would you eat with this wine? Well, I love white fleshed fish with this with this wine, um, but I can't go past oysters. Uh, in fact, uh, when we're on family holidays, uh, we go to a place where there's rock oysters. Uh, so need to take some wine for that, uh, and it's a fine line between getting those oysters off the rocks and, and having enough oysters. So <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So for those who are looking to head to New Zealand to you know pick some grapes, maybe spend some time making wine, can they contact you and then? <laughs> find a way to head over to the vineyard and pick some grapes? We are, we are always looking for staff for, for harvest and uh, it's a really exciting time of year. You get to meet a lot of people from around the world. Uh, in fact, uh, it's, it's sad to wave goodbye uh, when, when they have to go. But um, So yeah, we're always interested in people from around the world. Well, maybe I'll be able to head over next harvest season and pick a few grapes with you. Absolutely. But in the time, for the time being, um, I think we should drink this wine. Indeed. What do you think? Absolutely. Thanks for joining me today. Cheers. Cheers.